Uh, my name's Hope Harrison. I am the executive director of Mission Central and I've been with the organization since November. Um, thank you all for your continued support of the organization. I can tell you that I have been absolutely amazed at the astonishing things that happen in the warehouse pretty much on a daily basis. I would like to take you on a short journey of Mission Central. Imagine the following scenarios. Your father had surgery and can't afford a wheelchair to help him with mobility. You can't afford VBS supplies at your church. There are 100 children in your local elementary school that spend each weekend hungry. Children in an orphanage in Haiti don't have access to computers for their schooling. A young girl in your neighborhood met a man on the internet and hasn't been located in six months. Girls in Zimbabwe can't attend school when they're menstruating. You felt God lead you to start a nonprofit, and you've been working on it for two years, only to come to the realization that you can't move forward without warehouse space. And you live in York County, and in July 2018, your home flooded. You felt desperation until you finally felt that first little bit of relief when a local United Methodist Church handed you a flood bucket. Mission Central helps with all of these situations and so many more. In 2018, we accomplished amazing things. I'd like to show you a brief video to highlight some of those. to the individual that was clapping at the front during the music. I appreciated that. Hopefully we get ourselves jazzed up this morning. Um, just to highlight a few of the things, and this is all in the form that you received yesterday. In 2018, we opened our 40th hub, which is a mini Mission Central. So now we have hubs from Maine through Central Virginia. It's awesome. We distributed over $7 million in resources last year to over 2.2 million people. We have awesome volunteers totaling over 7,500 people who, with their collective volunteer hours, equaled over 10 full-time paid positions, which is amazing. And those of you who volunteer here, we want to thank you so much. And just recently, we trained 45 people on how to create bedrolls for those in need. Most of you have probably heard of God moments before, but for those of you who haven't, God moments are those experiences when there's literally no other explanation than that God's hand was at work. I wanted to share a few recent God moments with you. These happen, mind you, all the time at Mission Central. Uh, our, our receptionist, Margie, has been working with a man named Michael who has had cancer for a number of years, and he is fed strictly through a feeding tube, and his formula is very expensive. Um, and so we have a feeding supplement program, and he's been able to come before, and he's made a 12-hour round trip trip for him um, from Ohio to Mission Central to get 10 months' worth of formula, and that's been really, really helpful for him expense-wise. And he's been talking to her about coming in June, 
And it's gonna be a really difficult trip for him because he's medically just very fragile at this point. And ironically, right around the same time, we had a group call that wanted to volunteer for three days, and they are from Ohio, about 20 minutes from Michael's home. So we put them in contact, and we talked to the church and the group, and they were willing to take his supplements back. So they're going to meet each other in June and give him his supplements, cutting his round trip from 12 hours to 45 minutes. It's amazing. Michael's a humble man, and he is just in awe that someone would do this for him. But we know that God was at work with this. Um, and another was just this week. It seems to happen whenever I have a big speaking engagement, we have a big God moment that week. Someone was donating a chair on Tuesday, and it's not a chair that we would normally take. It was a little bit too large, and we were afraid we wouldn't find it a suitable home, but our operations manager felt something inside saying, take it. And on Wednesday, literally the next day, a woman came and her son has some real special needs and, and she couldn't find something that was accommodating for him. And the chair was exactly what she needed. So she came Wednesday afternoon and took it and now her son has a chair and he's never been able to have something accommodating his needs before. Those are just two examples of God moments that literally happen on an almost daily basis. And I want to personally thank each and every one of you for the continued support. The churches in our conference have been absolutely instrumental in allowing us to continue the work that we do. I want to ask you to prayerfully consider being involved in our new exciting philanthropic phase as we move forward with future endeavors of giving on a monthly basis. Those small gifts really help us as we move forward. And it really helps us to connect God's, God's resources with human need. I hope to meet you all at the table in the lobby. We're right outside of the doors. And if you can, don't forget to come and grab a bucket to do a quarterly challenge at your church. I do want to thank you for your time. And I'd like to turn the mic over to Reverend Dr. Tom Salzgiver. As you've heard, it's been a fast-paced and exciting year at Mission Central, with mission happening not only at the warehouse, the 40 hubs, but around the world. For those of you who attended annual conference two years ago, you will remember that we as a body approved a process for Mission Central to begin to apply for their own 501c3 status as a separate organization. That decision also allowed Mission Central to begin talking about ways they can be a separate entity while still being connected to the Susquehanna Conference and the United Methodist Church. This process has been no easy task. There's been much praying, lots of hard work, lots of meetings, meeting with attorneys, looking at the law to make sure that we have done everything correctly. I am so happy to announce that Mission Central now has their 501c3 status. The reason this is so important is that it allows Mission Central now to pursue much more funding streams and possibilities. There are significant foundations that would like to invest in the work of Mission Central. However, these foundations will only invest in organizations that have their own 501c3 status. In securing that status, the board of directors has been reorganized and reformed. It's important for you as the annual conference to know that the Susquehanna Conference will have three representatives on the on Mission Central Board. The resident bishop, Bishop Park, has the responsibility of choosing those representatives. So what does this next faithful step in the future of Mission Central mean for the Susquehanna Conference? It is clear that the former Central Pennsylvania Conference and now the Susquehanna Conference birthed Mission Central. With excitement and joy, the conference voted almost unanimously to begin this ministry. I must admit that those of us on the planning team and the first board never dreamed that Mission Central would grow, prosper, and flourish as much as it had. Clearly, the annual conference had a vision, but many of us didn't see God's vision. Thankfully, God has been working to give Mission Central 
a greater future with hope than any of us could have ever imagined. This next step with Mission Central will not only continue to help them grow and expand in Christian witness and missions. You and I, the annual conference, is still needed to work with Mission Central. Churches and volunteers are needed and will continue to be needed so helpful in making mission and ministry happen. Volunteers are needed, supplies are needed, prayers are needed, and our individual and corporate financial support is needed. Those of us who have worked on this next faithful step are clear that this new 5013 status and future endeavors will not in any way minimize or negate the work that we must do together as an annual conference and as Mission Central. This action will expand and broaden the scope of Mission Central more than ever before. This action means that the annual conference will continue to partner with Mission Central for an even brighter future. The Central Pennsylvania Conference birthed Mission Central, but the Susquehanna Conference nurtured, supported, and cared for Mission Central and help us help it to grow to this point. The next step in God's preferred future is that Mission Central and Susquehanna Conference will continue to partner and work together in a new way to the glory of God and to the nurture and care of all of God's people. Thanks be to God for leading and for being faithful in helping us with our endeavors to take this next faithful step so that together, Mission Central and Susquehanna Conference will continue to work in new and exciting ways for mission and ministry throughout the world. Good afternoon, sisters and brothers. Thank you for giving us a few minutes. We're, our board was here last evening, but they could not be here today, but they all want to echo the thanks you've heard. Thank you for the way you volunteer at Mission Central. Thank you for all the donations, the materials you provide. Thank you for funding our budget. You are Mission Central once again. We thank you for that. My God moment this year was the, uh, the work the Spirit did in helping us hire a new executive director. We had around 90 applicants for this position. Can you believe that? And the board took the time to filter through those applicants, narrowed it to about 15 uh, interviews. Those interviews down to about six face-to-face -face interviews. And then we did a second round of the two finalists. And we were wide open. We were interviewing people from different denominations, different backgrounds. We just were just seeking the spirit of God's leading. And with that second interview round, we just knew that God was bringing us Hope Harrison. And I'm so thankful that she's here. We need your prayers because it's time for us. We've done two cycles of strategic planning in the last 10 years. And we're up against needing to do a new strategic plan and to understand God's future for Mission Central and some of the new things we can do as we step into this role of 501c3. We don't plan to change our mission. We don't plan to change our vision. We don't plan to change our core values. We're not going to change our operations. But there's many new things we can do. And we just need your prayers. Please, we need your prayers for, you, for God's guidance as we seek to be the next step of Mission Central. Thank you so much.